guys what's up today in this video tutorial we are creating a new animation in principle which is a message me, which is a message with it i thought what the fuck which is a message screen transition i really focus on giving the user context right here which is very important for user uh experience and like look at the animation we have this messaging center and all these elements are flying in perfectly, giving the user some context and we can simply create a very great animation using some small but very important principles. Now let's get into this. We have the sketch file right here opened up and it was created by a friend of mine and you will find the download link in the video description. So. Head over, download it right now, or after you watch this video tutorial, we are directly jumping into the video. Uh, we are directly jumping into the process. Open up your principle, and now they want me to install an update. Now uh, we have it opened right here in Sketch, so we don't have to open it up again in principle somehow. We can simply import it actually by uh, just going to import right here and we simply have it already in this line so we can hit import and it's done so there it is going to make it a little bit smaller like about that and so you really see the design and animation on this right side okay so what I'm going to do what we are animating today is like clicking one of these messages from this overview and transforming like a screen transition from this screen to the second one, which is the detail screen of the uh, message. And we simply double click this right here. So we get a better overview of the file structure of the containers or folders and so on. And all these items right here are different containers or different folders of these single messages. What we're going to do is to select one of these folders and we are simply creating a tab animation towards our second screen. So you see right now that it's already kind of an animation here. Um, if we click the message, you see that several items are already transforming and already shaping up and some of them could just uh, left like could be left like this because uh, they are kind of fine right now but for example these three dots right here that you will see in a second once I click it they look really weird now why are they are why are they flying around so uh, I guess we have to like fix this a little bit this will take some time but I'm yeah I think it's really important to have a clean animation and to do this we simply double click on these com uh, on these dots and we change the name because layers on different artboards with with the same name will also like have this magic animation so we simply give this a unique name so add any number or something to make the layer name unique and this should actually fix our problem you see right now that they are staying in the top right corner then the next thing are these uh, messages, these single messages that we have right here. Um, I don't want them to be changed. I don't want them to fly in how they are currently fly, flying in because they are also like resizing somehow. They are like offering a weird context which isn't there. Um, so let me look at this file structure. So we have messages 01, 02, 03 and I guess they are somehow related to some of the rectangles that we have on our first screen. So let me check that. Yeah, so we have the rectangles of these messages and they also need to have a unique name. So change this up. I'm just adding a one to the end of the layer names, which should actually help to uh, get a better, like you get a unique name. The same with this name right here double click it. Um, I'm also adding just a number. Same with this rectangle like that. 
So right now you see we still have some elements flying into the screen, which are uh, our messages. They are flying in, which can be used by us somehow. I would like to uh, do this. And we have this little uh, Jenna is typing uh, notification, which is also flying in. So I'm also changing the name, giving it a new rectangle 21 name. Okay, so these elements are flying in currently, but somehow it still looks kind of weird. So we have these messages with the text layers and these text layers also need to be changed because you see they um they they are the same uh like in relation to the first artboard so, so you see hey have you got any news and it's the same on our first artboard and also with these other messages as well so uh you can also add a number just before the text it doesn't have to be after the text so simply like that. So you see they are still flying in, but that's actually fine. I would like to use this effect uh, to get a better animation. So what we're going to do now is to work on our really detailed screen transition. We can close up all these different folders. So yeah, what we're going to do is to copy all of the elements from our second screen on top on our first screen, just like that. So we change the opacity of the background to, to zero percent because we wanted to just uh, dive into our second screen. And we are also uh, changing up the messaging container, uh, like the right message container right here. For the beginning, I would like to simply change the opacity of all of these elements to zero so we get a better uh, clean transition. So, oops. So yeah, you see uh, currently, because we just copied it, that there is no real like transition anymore, but the background, the background is changing. This is kind of cool. And what I would like to do with all these uh, with all these elements right here, is to, uh, for example, with this middle part right here. So maybe let me change the opacity back on again. I would like to change these messages so that they are flying in from the bottom, which means uh, we have to select all of them. We could also select just the messages folder, which is also just fine. And I would like to have them flying in from the bottom, just like that. So let me check how this will look like. Oops. Ah, uh, yeah, so we have a small problem. Uh, you see that right here, the container of our middle folder is still like overlaying the message that we want to click. So if I click it right here, it should work, yeah. Um, one thing you can do is to simply change the opacity back to zero. This should work, yeah. And I think we could also resize the folder, but I will stick with the zero opacity approach, which is just fine for us. Okay, so you see that they are flying in, but all like in one motion. And I would like to have different, um, like different motions right here. So what we're going to do is to select these single messages. This is the first one, so we need to uh, search them. So we have our first message right here. And yeah, I think to have a better like transition, we need to change up our approach a little bit. So when we copied it, this middle part, the messages um, we're at zero. So we got to back, go back to our first screen, go back to the messages and change them to zero as well. So yeah, we have them right here. Um, I think we have to 
change the position of these single messages. Yeah, so you just saw it below in our timeline that we created a animation of these single messages, which is very important for our animation. So sometimes you really have to fill it out how to uh, get all these different folders and different um, uh, files like layers uh, to, do, to animate or to do the things you would like to do them. And sometimes it can be like a trial and error thing, which you just saw. That's not a problem, just uh, try to figure it out somehow. Okay, so we have it right here. And what we are going to do now is to drag over these bars just a little bit, just like that. You see these small indicators right here. And I'm using them to Make sure that all of these uh, all of these messages are flying in separately. So I think this is a kind of cool effect. And this is actually kind of, yeah, I really like the effect. And I would like to do somehow the same with Jenna's typing. So maybe it is flying in from the left side or it's flying in from the bottom. We are going to test this out right now. So, but I already like the way these uh, different mes messages are flying in. Okay, so Jenna is typing is something we also already copied. So we could simply say fly in from the left side, which will look like this. Maybe we will uh, change the timing a little bit because I would like to have it about like this. So it's flying in after all the messages uh, went in. So, yeah, I think that's like easier for the user to understand that there is something happening. It looks like Jenna just started typing and this is like really helping the user to get an overview of the user interface and of the elements he can interact with. And I also like the fact that it looks like Jenna just started typing right now while the screen loaded up. So. I think that's already a cool transition. Um, I would just like to also slide in this right message container so we can position it below. Let me look, let me check how this looks like. So it's also flying in and I would like to also say this should start after the messages f were flying in. Maybe we just uh, position our Jenna is typing to about this position, one point, uh, zero point eight or about that. So, yeah, you see that uh, it's actually giving the user some kind of context. We we can maybe fasten it up a little bit by dragging it over to about this position, just like that. Yeah. This is giving the user much context. So if you are creating animations in your real projects, now this is just a like fictional project. I want to show you the, the app, what you can do with it and like everything like that. And if you're working in a real project, you are going to give the user some context, which is so important. The user needs context to really um, feel comfortable in the user interface and to get a sense of all the elements he can interact with, which is um, like the most important thing when uh, like designing animations and designing user interface transitions, really focus on the different contexts. So for example, we would like to have the user read all the messages before he's starting to type something. That's why I decided to start uh, like showing the right message container uh, a few seconds later after all these messages like popped in, which is really important, which is giving the user some context. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this small tutorial. This is the animation we just created today. If you have any questions, shoot them down in the comment section. I want to thank you for your time and yeah, download this video. And yeah, download this file. It's also linked down below. So you can just practice, check out the animations and so on. And yeah, have a nice day. This video was sponsored by Death Mountain. 
If any of you are interested in learning UX design, Dev Mountain is a 12-week design bootcamp intended to get you a full-time job in the industry. You can learn more about this at devmountain.com or by clicking the link in the video description. Thanks for watching the video and we see us in the next one. Bye!